Hi everyone, I'm going to show you uh, something handy today. Uh, my toilet system, uh, it's not working well, so I'm just going to replace it. And let me show you what the problems are. Okay, the issue with this toilet system is that this flushing system is all broken. Uh, you can see that this, this thing uh, is where the button is connected to. So it's all all broken so um, I think all the mechanism are all gone so I got to just replace the whole uh, system not sure if I can change that bit but I just changed the just bought the whole new one and to buy a new one I just get this one here I got it from a local hardware store and so that's the, that's the front cover it also come with a, a toilet seat uh, and some parts. So I'm going to show you how it's going to put together. Right, the first thing that you do is that uh, this old toilet system is actually mounted to the wall. So we'll probably need to put the new ones on the wall as well. And before that, um, behind here, you can actually see there is two connections. So one is to, you have to disconnect that and also disconnect this one. So that it will uh, goes onto the new one. For the new one, you get the similar thing as well, where you will uh, that will be the middle one, and that will be connected to the uh, filling system. Now, the filling system that I bought is actually on the uh, right hand side, while this other one installed is actually. It's on the left hand side, so I just need to switch it around and I will show you how that can be done uh, quite easily. Okay, first thing what you do is you just have to uh, shut the water off here first. And then just, um, you now what you do is flush the toilet here so the water is empty as much as possible. So this one is broken so I just have to do it that way. There you go, the water is empty and it's not filling anymore because the water is already shut off from there. So that's first step done. The second thing you just have to, um, uh, I want to get to the bottom of the, uh, the connections and then I'm uh, going to unscrew from there. The next thing I'm going to do now is get to the bottom. There's a couple of screws underneath the other seats just have to unscrew them. Once you unscrew them, you should be able to leave the other seats out. You should be able to take the other seats out. That's the couple of screws that we were looking at just now. One, you can give it a good clean later on, and that goes in there. So one thing you need to do now is see there's a water supply in there, and also the uh, the uh, water flushing down that way. Just um, unscrew that and unscrew that, and you can take this one off and put the new one on. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the two connections. So this one. Just turn to the left. That should be loosened up now. And that should be loosened up. You see, somebody actually put a um, plumber, plumber tape over it. And this one, you just have to use either the spanner or that one. Both that's the trick again. Turn to the left to remove it. There's a bit of water because there's still some uh, water in the system, but that's okay. It should flow and it should go to the, the floor waste. 
this pipe is actually a, a solid one. So I might need to go to the uh, I need to go to the hardware store to get a flexi hose later. Let me get rid of this first. Okay, so now I'm just removing the, um, the old system from the wall. This one is probably very old already. You can see the rust. And I just try to need some help to get this loosened. Here's all the rust. It's like a wall. It's a bit of a rust, so let me put some WD-40 and then so that it can easily turn. Okay, I'll put some one screw here. the same on this side. I managed to take that one off but that one is so rusted. This one I need some help. I'm gonna sort it off. Okay. And finally cutting this off and getting this out by cutting it. So now I should have this system now is completely loose. I'm going to remove these systems off. Right, it doesn't come off because they silicone this and also yeah, we cut the silicone open. System now is out. Just have to put the new one in. So now I'm just going to put this, take these old brackets off and put the new one on. The new one is supplied with the new system. So I can do that a bit later. So now I'm just going to take the old one off first. Don't really have to worry about all this because the, the new system is going to cover all that up, so that will be fine. Give it a good clean. I'm thinking about painting it so that it get a chance to really get it tidy up. <laughs> paint it and then I just put the new system on and it'll be. I think I should just paint it. it. Won't take too long anyway. Okay, so now the new system that I bought has the water filling things on this side. I just need to change it to this side by simply unscrew this one. And also unscrew this one and just swap them around so I can have that one there connect to this one over here and that goes there. Okay, and that's what I mean. This one, I may need to change it to a flexi hose so that it can go in to uh, here once you stop it in here. So let me just change this for you. I'll show you how this can be done. It's quite easy. So I'm just going to take this one out and put this one over here. All right, so if I do it, let's unscrew. Let's unscrew here. Let's unscrew here as well. It's going to come straight off. So that one comes out now. I'm going to 
take this one out first. So just put it, just taking this one out. Put it on to this side. Put this back on. System. So first thing what you do is you just there's a bracket that comes with it. So what does the bracket do is the bracket actually goes in uh, bracket actually goes in this way. See so you can see that once it goes in this thing will click. Once it goes in this thing will click. So you just have to mark where this hole is. So uh, the way I do it is I just want to put this on, put it in there, use that to mark on the wall, and then take this out, put the bra put this bracket back on the wall and find out where the hole is. You can see that the new system is not really covering the old system hole. So you will put it there. It's actually just cover the hole. But over top here, I need to get it painted. So once you paint it up, it should look nice and uh, tidy. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to paint it first and then put the system back on. And the other thing I might do is I'm going to just show you how I mark it and then you can see how the uh, all drilling is going to work. into the, the box, you hang it up, you should be all fine. So you can still adjust that a little bit here, up and down, so it'll be all right. Yeah, got it? Hopefully that helps. I'm gonna paint these patches up first. This one is grill, a couple of holes now. Let's make a little box so it's easier for me to grill.
instead of guessing how long or how much you want to drill just you know measure that and put a, put a small bit of sticky tape over there and you will know which uh, how much you have to go in Okay, now the plugs are in, so I'm just trying to patch up these two holes. I'm going to set it a little bit before I put the um, before I put the plaster in. Give this a good sand smell already. Just clean it up and then you can start painting it. And now, hopefully, you give your paint a good stir. Now's the time to paint it. The painting is all done now. When it dries, the colors will be uniform. This good. Okay, this is the pipe cover or the courtesy cover. Um, it actually goes into the the toilet seats once you secure it. If you take a look, it actually goes into about two. Go into it by two slots. So because this thing is very long, you can actually cut them. So what I did was I actually. You understand when I uh, put it together. So this is where the pipe comes through. Your system sits on top. And what I did was I actually put this cover on top of the toilet bowl and see how far it's actually come up to. So this is actually, the toilet bowl was here. So I actually measure it up and make sure that when this finishes, this thing slides in and stops here. So I use a, uh, masking tape just to mask it so I know exactly where it stops. So what it then what you then need to do is turn this around and just make sure you cut two slots away. Two slots away. So you just cut it down this way. And when you cut and you turn around and you put the toilet seats in by two, it will stop right there. You got it? There's about two slots you cut this way once you cut it across it it cuts across there and when you put the toilet seat in it went in by two lots and we will stop right there so that's how you measure make sure that this courtesy cover fit nice and well into the uh, toilet seat yep so i already cut it cut it to size see it's two all right i'm just going to stand so they're going to leave it Okay, I'm gonna put everything together. The painting is done. So this part is very hard, so I need to um, replace it with a flexi hose. Uh, hose come off now. Okay, let's move closer so you can see better. Just 
tight. It's tight as well. So now we can put the system on. And then put this one on first so it's easier for me to get to it. Well, I just want to put the um, seat in, and then we can tighten that. Okay, let me get this in first. Just make sure that this is tucked in nice and tight then I just uh, screw that and I just need to adjust this put the seats on connect this pipe and I think that's pretty much done this seat come with um, this slider you just slide them in the screw on to in this way. Screw in the washer before setting. Want to make sure the toilet is aligned well. Nice and aligned. This side, this side. So that's pretty much done. The next thing you just connect up the water and test the flushing and pops your ankle. All right, so now everything is nice and tucked. There's one thing that I discovered just now. Remember, I just now I cut the uh, thing, the two bar, and now you see it's the sign is actually there. The reason is that um, I wanted to adjust the toilet bowl a bit forward and backwards. Because original my my installation originally was this thing is way too close to the to the um, surface here. So if you doing your number two you know you will probably really dirty over here so i actually move it forward and make it nice and um, centered over here and that's why you see that i actually move it move like that much out so maybe next time when you cut um i don't know leave a bit more space so that you can play a room to play with uh, i was just really lucky that i just got enough space and really not nice and tidy now Okay, let me connect up the water pipe and we can try it out. Okay, now I've done this. Don't over tighten it, just enough. And um, let's try it out. <laughs> let me check if there's any leak. Nothing's dripping. It's all good. No water dripping. No water dripping here. No water dripping here. This thing is filling up okay. Stops. Let me try. Let's have flash. Still flash. 
done. Beautiful. So we'll just clean up. All right, just put the cover back on. And it's all good. So that's how you change the toilet system. That's all good. Like and subscribe so that I can bring more home video to you next time. Guys, thank you. Time for me to clean up. Cheers.